What's up, you two? Slim Tim. Slim Tim's Dirty Tanks. Update. And the aquaponics in the greenhouse. Roll that footage! Start over here next to the goldfish. They're a little hungry. As you can see, everybody's doing very well. You got big. Even the little ones. Do you remember the runs from last season? They're growing into their shapes finally. Yeah, I got the exhaust fan going on over my head. Got a little bit of a warm temperature of 70 degrees. Outside temp is. 60. Yep, they've been doing really well. Survived three winters now. So, all thanks to that big boy down there. Heater trough here. Yep. Still got the spray bar action going on, keeping the water extra, extra uh, oxygenated. So I just can't see it on film, but they're, they're there. All right, let's move on to the grow beds. All right, I'm gonna start here with the tomatoes on grow bed number two. Now. For my first two seasons, going into my third now, I learned a lesson. And I'm going to show you here on grow bed four here in a second, let you see what is the big lesson here. Is I was overstocking my beds, which led to a bunch of root development, which is clogging up my beds. So I had way too many tomato plants planted here last season. So now, as you can see, I got two and two on each side. And I've already gotten awesome results. Let's go this way instead. Originally, they were like right here, as you can see the third one down here, when I first bought them. So you can see how much uh, they've grown in a week. Doing really well. Got their cages set up around them this time, so they can actually have more support instead of trying to tie two or three of them to the one cage. So, yeah. This is how big they were when they first came in, but they weren't this full. They were looking a little wimpy. But that's why I hear uh, lately what I'm doing is I'm making sure to alternate between my liquid seaweed dosing. Instead of just dumping it straight into the sump, I go through here and uh, divide it up through my beds halfway through to make sure these guys get their nutrients. And that's another thing I just learned from uh, uh, aquaponic channel I watch is these and the tomato plants and cucumbers are high nutrient plants so we're gonna go with uh, tomatoes instead of cucumbers now we're gonna swing over here to grow bed one had a bunch of the green peas and you know one of the little planters they give you They're right there yeah oh look at there's one living down there I need to pull that back up here and get it up here. Anywho, a lot of them melted off. Plus, still doing okay on what I got left. These guys didn't do too well last season either. So we'll just give them another run, see what they do. If you remember right too, these uh, sprouted in my refrigerator. So I was able to plant them again. So, we'll get back to there. See the temperature. Grow bed three, still have yet to be filled back up, but we're gonna have to fill it up soon. As I was uh, mentioning before, I had a massive amount of broccoli in this uh, grow bed, if you remember, two by two, about six to eight of them right here, and it caused a real bad fogging of roots. 
and you can see it right here. All that detritus and stuff floating around in there. It's also a bunch of the root structure. And then as you can see, this bed don't drain all the way down and it's leading to a bad case of algae. But on the flip note, this is my algae scrubber for my system right now. Algae's only in this part of the whole system. Go figure. But down here at the end of this bed, the strawberries, if you remember from last season, are surviving. They went through the winter time and now they're still here and got nice little buds coming about them. I don't know if I can move any more of these to show you all of them down in there. Yeah. This one hasn't decided to bud up yet. But that's what's going on with that. Got some extra broccoli left over from this bed. But this bed is giving me problems still. As you can see, I did space out my broccoli. I said I got four and four. Well, sorry, three. But I am getting Goldilocks syndrome, meaning this. If the water flow is too fast, it won't break siphon. If the water flow is too slow, it won't start siphon. So I'm having a big issue with this bed right now and it's getting on my last nerve. So I've been thinking about it and I think this bed might be as a backup bed in case something, you know, knock on wood was to happen on them four. Go ahead and pull this out of the system. Yes, I haven't got to this yet, but the DWC, move it over into its place. And right in this area here, set me up a uh, NFS for my strawberries, which is basically kind of a pipe system that does this right here. Get holes in it with baskets, so I can have a rack of strawberries growing here. That way it'll be on a constant uh, drain. This bed right here, the wrap DWC will be a constant drain. That way I'll have no more issues of draining from my grow growing areas. Because I'm thinking I'm too far away from the sump, which as you can see is right there. This bed does fine, which is number four. Number one does fine. But number five, Goldilocks syndrome. Go figure. But as you can see though, we got greenage in the grow beds go back over to the sun. Alright, appreciate you still being tuned in. Let's see if we can get some siphon action going on. Alright, as mentioned before, grow bed 5, the Goldilocks syndrome. That's what I get. Either I have a trickle all the time from either having the water too fast and it can't break siphon or not fast enough and it can't start siphoning. And that's what that is right now. It can't start the cycle. It's just a trick. But grow beds one, two, and four do just fine. Actually, I wish they would go ahead and start it, but I'm using like a little bit. As you can see here, this nice clean pipe standing right in the direct middle of everything is holding up the plexiglass for my splash guard. Let's get there my bleed off. Down below us, filter. So, not, not much is changing here. I uh, fixed that uh, overflow issue. Lower the uh, standpipe and drain pipe in the filter. So now my fish tank don't have as much water in it and don't hit the overflow unless that needs to hit it. Yep. Well, we're going to do a top off. Get a little low. Here goes the siphon action. Got the golden lock over there.
Where are you going? like button. Leave your comments down below and welcome you new subscribers. And as always, stay fired!